Good day, everybody. Brian here from quantlabs.net. Today is July 11th. I uh, just wanted to let you know everything I've been blabbing about over the last week or two has come together. I'm making two separate videos here to show you what I mean that C and Python are the skill sets you need for the high paying jobs. Thanks to the, the uh, source that keeps sending me the e financial careers, among other websites and posts. Thanks to him for that. So uh, here it is, e-financial careers, C++ techniques you need for C, $600,000 hedge fund jobs. I've already covered this in another video. I will uh, send that out. I think this, this, this post got uh, noticed and written up on e-financial careers because of the PDF I'm about to show you that I've already covered in another video lit up a lot on LinkedIn. So uh, the same... Uh, e financial career uh, post uh, that there is. I'm going to go over in another video uh, about an AI firm, HFT firm, I guess the next generation after H HFT uh, and what they're doing and what they're paying out, which is quite high. So the 600,000 seems to be still intact with at least this firm. It's all out of the, U uh, out of the uh, UK, London. Um, and I'll show you that in a bit. So the guy who co-wrote this, pa Paul Billiken, and here's the um, article, or the, sorry, the research paper. Now you can get that on ResearchGate. Uh, I've got the links. I'll probably post, well, they're already up, so I'll show you where to go to get it. Um, anyways, you could probably get it through this article as well. Um, so this guy's a former director at uh, Deutsche Bank, visiting professor at Imperial College of London. And remember what I've said about Ivy League schools. This is one of them. Uh, he's an advisor at a marine company, Thalassians. If you don't know, there's a group on Meetup on meet called the, the, the Thalassians. Uh, they have pretty interesting talk, topics covered in the financial centers in Chicago, New York, and London. Uh, in this meetup group. So you might want to look that up as well. Yeah, yeah, obviously it's free. They get, they get out some good people. I've not been part of it, um, but I've known about it for many years now. Um, so again, if you want to be an integral role as a C++ developer, remember there's C++ quant researchers, C++ developers and whatnot. Uh, so you're part of their HFT team, the high frequency trading. So you do definitely without a doubt need to know C++. He uh, talks about, um, I've said this before, about FPGA, ultra low latency, um, where he runs a company that sets up this, this, these solutions. So you have the languages in FPGA, which are BHDL, Verilog, and Lucid. Uh, unless a company is prepared to invest in FPGA in the long run, both in terms of research and development and ongoing support, it is probably a wise decision to get the most mileage low latency out of C++. So that's the probably a less complicated way, but still, if you go through that P, through that research paper, you see how complicated it is. So he teamed up with one of his PhD students, uh, Barak Gundas. Uh, so there's the 12 techniques in, in, in reducing latency in C++. I've, I'm going to show you the video. Um, and one comment did come up, and uh, I, I always thought the same in the comment in my video. So we'll cover that. So here's the chart of the performance we we talked about in there. That um, this one con font expression, and I believe cash warming were the two uh, high performing ones. And uh, so uh, while cash warming and con expression bring 90% efficiency using sign comparison only leads to a 12 and a half percent increase. Uh, but they will squeeze whatever uh, juice they can get out of equivalent of a lemon and an orange, and they will squeeze every cent that they, or every piece of juice they can get out of a piece of fruit to make that uh, ultra low latency and to get the performance they, they can. They will squeeze whatever they can get out of it. Um, so be aware of that. So also he says, uh, if you want to know more, I've not mentioned this before, to watch this vi video from Nim Nimrod, a superior at QSpark, provider low latency platform solutions here. Um, 
So uh, C++ design patterns for low latency, including high frequency trading. Now, uh, before we get to that, let me just show you what's going on over at the fine firm of Rentec. These guys are a little more transparent. This is uh, Jim Simon's firm who founded the legendary medallion fund. And believe it or not, when you start seeing the PBD, Patrick Bet Davis go on about this, it's like he's some sort of genius. And the egomaniac that he is, he says that his performance running his insurance firm, which was just basically an MLM, his performance was just as good as Renaissance, which is a complete joke. Anyways, uh, so here's the jobs. Uh, if, if Okay, so here we go. So we have financial infrastructure programmer and uh, the uh, real-time programmer. So let's say we look at this one. So in here, I've talked about how it's very vague. One thing I want to showcase that's very important is the version of C++ is version 17. So it's not quite up to 20 yet. We've talked about the different types of backgrounds. Physics out of that lot is the most important. And I just watched uh, another interview from Jim Simmons way back saying he's also interested in astronom astronomers as well because how they think and how they process and break down modeling and whatnot, just theoretical processing. So those two are probably the number one coming out of physics and astronomy. Um, and uh, the reason I'm, I'm showing you this is the C++. As I said, it's been very, very vague. Um, so we have that. So let's go back to the article here. And um, that's pretty well the article. So I'm going to show you the video that I posted a few days ago. Uh, two days ago, in fact. Chasing the millisecond, demystifying high-frequency trading programming. Again, at my channel at Quant Labs that you're watching here. Um, and uh, that's the video where I break down this research paper, which is right here. Um, and if you want the link, you can just follow through here. And I'll get you to that link here. Or better yet, just go to the uh, financial career. And I'm sure you'll find it somewhere in here. So here we've got some academic papers, high frequency from this other guy of uh, Bilicon academic papers and Burak as well. So in here, uh, I guess you could find what you're looking for from this guy. Yeah, you can see here it's on SSRN, so definitely could find it there. So coming back to my video um, right here, chasing the millisecond demystifying high frequency trading program. There's a couple of comments in here to pay note. This one right here, weird that signed is faster than unsigned. I agree. When I did um, when I did C, uh, usually uh, signed or sorry unsigned is faster than signed because there's less processing because it's positive versus negative so less computational processing that's how i learned that so i don't know does this mean we should question this research paper i'm sure there are probably people out there that may may do that um hey this could be a cai psyop for all we know right <laughs> I love my conspiracy theories. So uh, there is that. Now, again, um, it's interesting to know where everything's at. So here's the SSRN, C++, the, what I showed you earlier, 69 references. That I, I said in that video to go through, so that'll break it down even more. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. Again, if you want to know the simpler way to do your auto trading, um, two solutions here. You can go into the learn tab at quantlabsnet.com, fill out this, and this is now using TradingView, no programming needed, and get on that. Now, also, um, just wanted to let you know, I did promise to put out a video on uh, the, the simple way. I've done that now. So if you go into my channel uh, here under video, you will see a new three-minute uh, three uh, 
thing right here called auto trading revolutions the market opportunities with no coding required. In that video, uh, how the process is going to work is if you do want to truly build out your own uh, your own trading auto trading business, like how a Dr. Ernie Chan uh, back in 08 put out his book titled that. Um, you can do that. So what I've got here now is I've got a um, a book online situation. So if you book online, what will happen is you can just click this and uh, that will enable you to talk to me for, uh, fifth, uh, for uh, let's say 45 minutes, right? That's like 47 bucks or whatever it is. And um, we'll talk whatever you want to do. I'll highlight uh, what needs to be done at your end. Um, and, uh, I'll be doing that for a limited time. Okay. So if you want to kind of build out your own automated training business, that's the way to do it. No coding, no technology needed. Um, and I'll explain kind of like how it works in that session, because I have to protect my time. I can't talk to everybody for free. And it's the other way to filter out the not serious people as well, because if you're not willing to spend that amount of money. And, you know, I can't deal with you. I can't work with you. Sorry, I'm not the guy for you. On top of that, um, it also means that um, uh, I want to make sure you understand what you're getting into. And if you got any other questions about auto trading and some other goals, yeah, take take time in that. As I said in my video, I'll be doing this for a limited time, um, just depending upon the demand, really. If there's not a lot of demand, then I can continue doing it. So we'll leave that for now. But again, you can go here um, as well under the uh, book online right here at the top to get that uh, uh, started. And that's using TradingView as well. And in the video, it'll say Coinbase, Crypt Kraken, crypto support soon. And right now, I would probably strongly suggest you do it with interactive brokers for uh, stocks and ETF or equity. Other than that, thanks for watching. Have yourselves a good day.